Greetings, greetings, greetings. This is Lisa. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. So good to be here with you, isn't it? Wow. We're almost to the end of the year. And I want to share this moment by saying I wish you a happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Kwanzaa, whatever it is that you celebrate. Everything in what we do is about celebration, a celebration of something exciting, celebration of holidays, a celebration when we come together to have dinner, um, break, make, break bread, and uh, celebration of spirits. But what is celebration? is to say thank you, it's to say I'm so glad to be with you, it's to say that even if we take it personally, it's about us celebrating and saying I did something. It's self, uh, self-motivation as well. So when we do something and uh, we are a success, we get excited it's like the trump we do inside and we walk around feeling happy and joy for being able to do something that in itself is a celebration so celebration of life is from the day that we are born right that's where the congratulations comes we celebrate even the smallest little thing from birthdays to anniversaries to love, finding love. We celebrate when we graduate and when we pass a test. And celebration is to say, I want to share my joy with you because we're all human. And as humans, we come together. In the old, old days, when people used to farm together and go to the farms and do everything together, and they would wake up early in the morning at about three o'clock in the morning and get ready, right? And they would go to the farm and do the hard work and come home, rest, and break bread together. And when the time of harvest came, that was a celebration because they saw the results of all the work that they put in place. So we celebrate from the moment we breathe. And I believe life is a celebration. So we can celebrate even when we are by ourselves and we drink a toast. When my father was around, when the family would get together, uh, he was notorious in uh, drinking a toast for every single person, one at a time, who was at the table, especially if the entire family was together. And he would start one by one, naming each person. And then if there's a couple, and then he would say it as a couple celebrating their life together, celebrating their marriage, and he would do a toast to that. And then to their children. And then after everything was done, he would start, and this is a special toast. And then it was an extra, extra special. So. I know, I remember that would get to a time that we would always say, okay, enough is enough. Let us eat before we have to drink. But now we miss it and we remember it because although we were tired of it, there was a meaning he placed on the value 
of every single person who was at the table and the ones who were not at the table. The ones we miss and the ones who had parted our earthly body. So celebration is also remembering, remembering our loved ones that are not here and celebrating our life that has been a part of them. Come the holidays, as you go around in your life, it's so good to take a moment and celebrate starting personally all your achievements in life. And then every single experience, everyone that you have met in through your journey, your life's journey, and it could be good, bad, right, wrong, because even if it was something that was someone has done wrong and you've had a bad experience or a loss, look at the journey and how you have become stronger or learned something through that. That in itself is a moment that you need to celebrate. Because if you are here, right here, right now, listening and viewing this, then I celebrate you, your existence, your wellness, and may all the light and universe be with you and your family members. So we celebrate breath. We celebrate each and every breath that we breathe. And as we inhale, giving that oxygen and vitality insight to our body, why not take a moment and close our eyes and say, to all my surroundings, I ask for forgiveness. I thank my experience, I thank you, I love you. And then think outside of your surrounding and go outside of wherever you are and extend that to all your experiences, maybe your education, the teachers you've had, maybe even past relationships. I ask you to please forgive me. I am sorry for what I did. I thank you for being a part of my life. I love you. So by doing that, we delve deeper inside and it's not the forgiveness that we are asking them, but forgiving from the inside out. Forgiving ourselves for holding on to certain resentments and negativity and feeling lack thereof. And realizing that this very moment, you can celebrate every aspect from past relationships, friends who have come and gone, family members who have been around and are no longer here. So if they did us wrong or we did them wrong, we're just saying forgive. We're forgiving ourselves too. And if we have done wrong, then we're asking for forgiveness from higher above, not them, from higher above. And we say, I love you. So it is coming from deep love, your core love. Because love is the most healing and positive thing that we can do. My tagline, other than heal within, to heal within, we, we do three things. I've called, I created this, the 3E method. 
it's truly becoming the way things work. Uh, it's a process. That means it's evoking what was. It's going delving deep, and it doesn't even have to be deep, or it's delving into the past, either a memory or past relationships. It's past times. It's bringing that memory up. It's uh, remembering it. So once we acknowledge it and remember it, what do we have to do? It's embrace it. Embrace the reality of where we are right now. Embrace the reality that they are not here. Right? And once we come to embrace it and accept, accept ourselves with all our downfalls, weaknesses, or even strengths and powers, inner strength, our love, our compassion, or lack thereof. And realize you are as good as what you want to be. So once we come to the reality, that's the time that we can accept and it's from there that we can start making better and healing and knowing, okay, this is where I am and now what? So to evolve is to take the next step forward. When we think about all the things we don't have, we get stuck in this spiral of thinking about negativity. I don't have the money. I can't do this. I don't know how to. Well, it's like creating this wall. Even though it's an invisible wall. I used to say that. I can't. I can't means I'm helpless. So every time I repeat it, I can't, is now acknowledging, well, it's not that I can't. I just didn't know how to. And once I decided to learn how to, I could. That's it. So once we get off of our lack thereof and negativity, and we see a tunnel with the light, or we have a guide or a mentor, it gives us an assistant of shifting our perspective. That in itself is a celebration. Wow, a celebration can be as simple as this. Celebrating a new knowledge, celebrating being here, being present, being now, here and now. So last night, as I was doing my own meditation and mantra of this exact thing, I asked for forgiveness. Even the ones that may be upset with me. And acknowledged what I may have done that they might be upset with me. And I said, forgive me. I am sorry and I love you because my love has not changed and then I thank you and I sent it off and we can do the same thing this morning I read a quote that whenever people make a difference and they do something good for someone else they are in turn helping the entire world become a better place for all of us. So it takes one person, one moment, and one acknowledgement of saying, I no longer choose to be here. I no longer choose to have this habit or this behavior. I no longer choose to feel this way or in pain, in hurt in this relationship. 
Once we choose what is it that we no longer want, we don't get stuck in that. We say, got it. This is the reality, and this is no longer acceptable to me. What do I want in my life? What do I want to feel? What can I do to receive that love, that attention, that goodness, and be more compassionate? So my mantra was, how do I connect with people that I care for more closely? Like right here, right now. Hello, Michael. Hi, Roxy. Hi, Rita. And everyone else. So if you resonate with any of this, give me an emoji or say hello. Write something. How have you made a difference in your life? And how do you celebrate each and every success or acknowledgement? I know this morning I responded to Michael that you had placed something about freedom and how you choose to put light and shift that whatever it was into something better. And my response was, that's exactly how it is. Until the time we don't know something is hurting us or it's negative, we don't make a change. But sometimes we also hold on to that pain because that pain or negativity uh, that we constantly want to be free of, and which is in a way, if I'm not um, mistaken, it's that fight and flight right? When something hurts us, we go into that fight and flight. By doing the fight and flight, if we are not running out, we get to create habits, either knowingly or unknowingly, that numbs the feeling and the pain. What if we recognize that negativity or that pain Actually, it's the pain that hurts us. And we make that as a fuel to strengthen us and help us. So thank you, Michael, for shedding that light because it made it simple and easy for me to explain it. Here is an example about two, two months ago. I had a client who came here and she was like dressed to the T, very absolutely gorgeous young girl and um, just gotten married. Absolutely everything perfect, right? She came in because she uh, wanted to stop smoking and she said I've heard that you help with stop smoking and that's one thing that I do and uh, I would like to quit well my first thing is always we are not quitters we are we have been trained not to be quitters so we stop we stop a habit and we choose to stop that habit and she said she's tried very uh, many times to stop smoking or quit smoking and uh, I just looked at her and I said everything you do is like you're gorgeous the way you dress your car everything looks immaculate she said I know you may call me very vain because I, I look at the mirror all the time and everything and she she didn't have any problem talking about her vainness so I used that, that same thing, to help her with it. In hypnosis, I said, for someone who is so much into her looks and her beauty and being so put together, for someone who wants to be so vain, how can you put that smoke on your face? Because in few years, you're going to look quite ugly and with a lot of lines and the, even the smell, the 
does not go with the perfectionism or the beauty that you like to portray. It took one session because I found something that she was so up to it and I used that to help her. So what was a part of her beauty, I made it a part of her strength to change that habit. Sometimes that's all it takes is to look at someone's behavior, observe someone's behavior. And I don't even have to be there. Sometimes all you have to do is look in the mirror. And once you evoke what was, embrace what is, and evolve to what will be, what is it that you want? You can make that change. Acknowledging this 3E method is something that you can go and do and celebrate the results. So, hmm. last weekend I was with someone and we did a beautiful mantra celebration. And a part of that celebration was doing a prayer, a prayer to the east, the south, the west, and the north. So I would like you to take this moment to close your eyes. Mm, let me do this. Go ahead and close your eyes and sit back. It is believed that all the virtues to the cardinal directions, east, south, west, and north, it is a blessing and a ceremony of gratitude and gratefulness. So blessed be this union with the gift of the east, which is communication of the heart, mind, and body. It's the fresh beginnings with the rising of each sun from the east. The knowledge of growth found in the sharing of silences. Blessed be this union with the gifts of the south, warmth of the heart, the heat and home. It's the light created by both lightning, the light and dark. Up and down to heal within. And blessed disunion of the gifts of the West, the deep commitments of the lake, water, even the swiftness of the rivers over the rocks into the deepest of the seas and the shallow Blessed this union of the north, which is the foundation to which everything is built upon. Fertility of the fields that enrich our lives. It's the stability of home that we always come to, to our core within ourselves, that starts from our belly button.
So each of these blessings from the east to the south, to the west, to the north, it emphasizes all things which will help us build a happy and successful union, celebrating all that there is, the powers to be from above, from Mother Earth, that also grounds us, supports us, and the air and the wind that come and clear and cleanse, and the water even from our saliva that washes and clears and cleanses the oxygen that we breathe, right? Our body, which is our housing that supports it, our heart that feels and loves. So as you breathe in and out, realize those are the tools that we bring together to create what is it that we like and we seek in unity. Thank you for celebrating this moment with me. This is Lisa Bubari, and this has been the Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. Evoke what was, embrace what is, and evolve to what is it that you want to be, because you matter. If there is anything I can help you with, by all means, please contact me, call me, and I'm here for you. Goodbye, and Merry Christmas to all of you who celebrate Christmas. Hi, Eva. How are you? Thank you. Drop me a line, either here, if you're watching this right now, or if you're watching it on a repeat. Let me know. God bless you. Goodbye.